guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to share this video with you guys today. This is a collaboration with Samantha March here on YouTube. If you guys don't know who she is, she is awesome. Of course, I'll have her link down below. This is our first time collaborating together, um, which I think is so fun because we've been talking a lot recently on YouTube and I watch all of her videos and she's been commenting on a lot of my videos and it's just been really fun getting to know her better. And if you guys like my content, you will like her content. We're very similar style. Styles. Um, we like a lot of the same kinds of things and I get a lot of inspiration from her so definitely check out her channel because she's awesome we are also doing a project pan together and there it, it's a first for both of us it's my first uh, skincare project pan where I'm doing skincare only and then it's her very first project pan ever so make sure you go support her um, especially if you're part of the project uh, panning community I know she would really appreciate appreciate all you guys' love and support so and and real quick before we jump in, if you guys are new to my channel, if you're just joining me from Samantha's channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I do create a lot of beauty related content. I post videos six days a week and I would love for you guys to join me. Go ahead and click that subscribe button if you want to be a part of our family here and let's go ahead and jump in. Yeah, like I mentioned already, this is going to be all skincare products. And if you guys watch my empties videos, you know I go through skincare so quickly. Um, but the reason I wanted to do a specific project pan using skincare is because there are certain skincare products that I don't find myself using that I really do want to get through. So even though I do use skincare quite often, there are some things that I'm like, you know what, I need to put this in a project so I can use it up. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, we did decide together, Samantha and I, to give ourselves two full months to do do this project. So today is November 20th. We will be doing a one month checkup right around December 20th and then our finale on January 20th. And hopefully we can get through most of or if not all of these products. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to include in this project was this toner from Peter Thomas Roth. So this is the only toner I've been using most recently. I do have other toners in my skincare collection, um, but I rarely remember to use toners. And I know it's very good for your skin and it's something I should be doing. I just kind of like, forget about it. So I wanted to include this in the project so I can get this used up. I'm about halfway, just a little over halfway uh, done with this or a little less than halfway done with it. So I, I really just want to use it up. I do like it. Again, it's just one of those steps skincare steps that I kind of skip over. So I'd like to be better about using this. So I definitely wanted to include this product in this project. The next product, this is nearly full, but this is another thing I just never use. I never remember to use it. This is from Origins. It's the Maskamizer. It's a skin optimizing mask primer. So the way you're meant to use this is to apply um, it before you mask. So you cleanse your skin, you're getting ready to mask, spray this first, and it does get your skin wet, but it's also supposed to help um, it's got like, I don't know, vitamins or something in here that's supposed to help prepare your skin so that it more readily absorbs the ingredients from your mask. So it sounded like a good idea, but it's just an extra step that I never ever think about doing. But because I spent the money on this already and it's too late to return it, I'm like, you know what? I need to just use it up. So as you can see, it is to here right now. So it is essentially full. I do usually mask probably three to four times a week. So it's not like I am not masking. I'm just not using this. So I feel like if I start remembering to use this every single time I mask, I could probably get through it pretty quickly. So hopefully now that it's part of this project, I will remember to use it. All right, the next item, this is gonna be kind of an easier one for me. I feel like this is from Corez, and this is the Black Pine Activating Sleeping Oil. So this is supposed to be like an anti-aging firming oil. It is a more lightweight oil, which works good on my combo skin. I can't use it in the summer because it is still even though it's a lightweight oil, still too heavy for me in the summer uh, when my skin's more oily naturally, but right now I'm getting more dry. So I feel like I can get through this. It is currently to this line right here. So it's got about a quarter of the product left. So, but you just don't need very much. But I feel like um, now that I'm including it in this project, I'll try to remember to use this every night and I should get through that pretty quickly. All right, the next product is from Dr. Brandt. This is more like a treatment. Um, it's called the Needles No More. Um, it's basically like a spot treatment for 
fine lines and wrinkles. So again, because it's not like part of my skincare regimen where I have a very extensive regimen as it is, I do have like an AM um, serum, moisturizer, eye cream, lip balm, and then I have a PM of all of those products as well. I as And then on top of that, I have like my uh, pre-cleanser, cleanser. So I mean, I have a lot of steps in my skincare that I do get through a lot of skincare products, but this is another item that I don't have a specific step in my skincare regimen. So I feel like that's why I'm not using it up quickly because I actually really love this product. It does a great job of instantly filling in fine lines and wrinkles and I am starting to get deeper wrinkles right here. I'm noticing more wrinkles on my forehead so it's something I definitely could see a benefit from if I started using it. It's just can I remember to use it. So um, it's hard to tell what's in here because of the packaging so I don't really have a way to show you what I've got but I can tell you I've barely used it. Barely used it. I mean it's probably still at least three quarters full. All right next up is a lip balm. So I love this lip balm. This is from Sol de Janeiro. It's actually fairly new for me but I have I have so much lip balms in my collection that I end up like uh, kind of rotating them a lot so I never use the same one every day and for that reason I still have a lot so I'd like to focus in on just one lip balm and that way maybe I can get one out of my collection and have less in there to rotate if that makes sense um, even though this one is fairly new it's one of my favorites so I thought I would go ahead and do this one first since I like it I'll go ahead and roll it up all the way. That's what I have left in it. So I don't feel like it'll be hard to get through this. It's just a matter of remembering to only use this one and not grab the other ones. Okay, next I do have a couple masks to go along with that mask miser. <laughs> this is from Pure. This is their uh, Blue Agave Mask. It's an energizing peel-off mask. So um, I have used this several times. It You can see in the container it's about to right here currently so but when you use this you do use quite a bit of it so I feel like maybe three or four uses and I can get through that um, so I don't have a ton left in this um, and again masks is something that I have a lot of if you guys saw my skincare declutter recently which I'll link above I have a ton of masks so it would be nice to get through a couple of them and get them out of my collection just so I have less um, so yeah that would be a good one I'd like to get that out speaking of masks the other one is uh, a very different type of mask this is from Dr. Jart this one is from Dr. Jart and this is specifically for um, it's clay based so it's going to draw all the impurities out of your skin. Um, it's also the fresh one that has three different ones. The green one is the fresh one and so it feels like tingly and soothing and after you remove the mask your skin just feels hydrated and like awake. So I'm really excited to use this up actually because I've had this for a while now. I It did come in a three piece set. I used up the black one. Um, I just have this one and the pink one left and I'm I mean, there's not a lot left in here, but a little goes a long way. I still feel like if I concentrate on this, I could definitely get it done in the next two months though. So excited about that. Okay, next I have actually a body oil. So this is from Mulin and Sparrow. I feel like this came in some sort of a boxy charm or something like that. Um, it's French lavender is the scent of it. it smells great. I like the way it smells. Um, I just never remember to use this. And I actually have extremely dry skin on my body, especially like my legs get so dry, my feet get so dry. So I feel like I could benefit from using something like this, especially like right after the ba uh, bath or something. So I am gonna try to remember to use this more because I just don't want it to go bad before I get a chance to use it. I think it's a good product. So um, as you can see, it's basically full right now. It's very, very full. Um, so, and it's a little dusty because it's been sitting underneath my sink for uh, like six months since I got it and I just haven't hardly used it. All right, and then the last two products are both moisturizers. The first one is a face moisturizer. This is from Origins. It's the Original Skin Matte Moisturizer with Willow Herb. I actually like this a lot. I got this from Influencer. I like it a lot, so I feel like that'll be no problem to get through. I just have several moisturizers currently in my AM drawer right behind me that I've been kind of rotating around, so I'd like to focus in on one and just get this done. It's basically full, because I've even though I've used it quite a bit, you don't need very much, so it's essentially pretty full still, um, but I feel like if I were to use this every single day for the next two months, I probably can get through that. All right, and then the last product for this project is from Sol de Janeiro. Again, this one is the boom boom cream in a travel size so um, I don't know if you can see it behind me it's always up there on um, behind me I have a full size of this already and then I do also have a bunch of the 
uh, squeezy tube travel size and I bought this one specifically for travel and then I got a bunch of the squeezy tube ones in in both some uh, favorites kits as well as point perks um, I, I think I even got one in gratis so I have like five or six of those little guys and I find the squeezy tubes a lot more convenient for traveling than this container here so because I already have the full size and the little ones I'm like I need to get through some of this product I'd like to get through this one that way I can just bring the squeezy tubes when I travel and keep the full size one here for at home use I've been kind of savoring all of them because I love them so much I pretty much have only been applying them like if my legs are going to be showing in public which is rare like if I'm going to the beach or or to the pool or something but I want to start using it more and just kind of get this one used up so that I can enjoy it so all right you guys so those are all the products that are going to be in this project pan wish me luck I'm really excited to do my very first ever skincare version of a project and I'm so excited that Samantha joined me in for this project and um, yeah, it's gonna be really fun to see how both of us do on it. So make sure you check out her video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.